We would have been better off if my sister had never woken up. But oh my God, how I never selfish said... are you? So she looked at you funny and asked you a few questions. So that means that her boys should grow up without a mom and Zach without a wife. Hey, sorry. As long as okay, you're Bianca, I stop never it. just met... stop it. Don't pretend that you know my sister when the fact is you don't have a clue. I, I know that my sister isn't easy, but there's a reason for that. Because she's been fighting since before she was born. She was a child conceived out of rape, and therefore she's been searching her whole life for who she is and where she belongs, all of it. Yeah, and she found herself. Look at what Kendall has become. Yes, yes, exa exactly. A wife, a mother, a fiercely loyal friend. It took a lot for her to get there, and when she finally does, what happens? A freak tornado comes along and almost costs her everything, but she survived. My sister woke up. And it is a miracle. Yeah. A messy one. And it's going to take us all some time to adjust, but especially Kendall. I get that. Well, then why can't you just back off? When did I become the enemy? Here. When you said that we would be better off if... If what? So you don't even know, do you? Because you never let me even finish. Oh, I'm... I'm... Sorry, it was, was I wrong? Go ahead, finish the sentence. Why? Why should I? Be, because it doesn't matter to you. It doesn't matter to you what I think. It doesn't matter to you what I feel. All you care about is Kendall. Oh, my, excuse me for caring about my sister. She did just wake up from a coma. Oh, it has nothing to do with the coma. The bottom line is you are choosing her over me. Right now? Yeah, you bet I am. You guys are like some cult. It's like the cane in her sanctum. It's crazy to think that I could ever break through. Okay, now you're just being ridiculous. Am I? First we had Erica rocking the boat, and then Kendall comes along to capsize it. Right, even though she can barely get out of bed. We are being tag teamed. Okay, and it just doesn't feel like them against us. It feels like me against all three of you. Bianca, I want you on my side. No, I am on your side. No, you're... <laughs> Your mom, she doesn't like me, and, and Kendall doesn't like me. And you know what? Basically, I, I don't care. I really don't care. But what gets me is you do. You're wrong. No, we were fine. We were fine before we came to no, Pine Valley. No, we were fine before that night with Zach. We shouldn't have asked him. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have asked him to be the donor for our child. Just look at all the problems it's created. And look at all of the joy. Bianca! Zach said yes to you because he loves you, because you mean that much to Not him. Not as much as Kendall. I should have thought about her instead of just getting so swept up in us. <laughs> there you go. There you go. That is exactly what I am talking about. Look at us. I mean, look at us. We have this wonderful life. You and me and the girls and all of... All I want to do is get swept up. And you won't let us. So, it took a little juggling, but I think that I have everybody seated exactly where they should be. Now all I need is you're okay, and I can send it off to the wedding planner. Bianca? Oh. I'm sorry. I, I, I really appreciate everything that you've done, Mom. I'm just, I'm just a little distracted right now. Yes, I can see that. Sweetheart, did, did something happen? I really don't want to go into it. You mean you don't want to go into it with me? The last thing I need is a lecture, okay? Okay, of course. But it does look like you could use a friend. Or maybe, maybe a shoulder to cry on. It's Reese. Oh, Mom, we had a fight and it was... Oh, it was just awful. Back to me. Back to I guess no one told you, huh? Those are the new machines. You actually have to put money in it. Talk to the owner and we'll see how it goes. Lucky day. 
You have no idea. You know, Bianca and I were so happy. I didn't think anything could touch us. And then we come here and it's like I'm not even marrying Bianca, I'm marrying her entire family. Yeah. So, um, how do you deal? How do you deal? I don't know. If you think the person is worth it, then you, you, uh, you work through it. I know Kendall has, and I'm pretty sure Bianca is, too. Of course she is. You think Kendall hates me? Because <laughs> I really wouldn't blame her if she did. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Come on. I... You know, Bianca's been feeling so guilty about not telling Kendall sooner, but the truth is, I, I could have done something. I could have, I could have picked up the phone and called, or I could have pushed Bianca too. I didn't, and it's like I've been hiding behind this, I don't know, outsider status. And really, I, I, I played the biggest part. No, that honor belongs to me. Uh, I shouldn't have pushed you into being the donor. No one pushes me into anything. I did what I did because I wanted to. For you and for Bianca. Because you're a good man. Because I wanted to. And whatever's happening with Kendall, that's my responsibility, not yours. Don't you want to know what the fight was about? Bianca, do you love Reese? More than anything. And you're certain that she loves you? Yeah, up until an hour ago. Yeah, she loves me. Then there's no fight in the world that can get between that. Really? As long as you continue to be honest with each other. Tell Reese how you feel and encourage her to do the same with you. Even if it's ugly. Even if it hurts. I don't want to lose her, Mom. Then don't. Now, are you ready to have a look at this? <laughs> You're kidding, right? What? Is a problem? You put Greenlee, the other bride, at the worst table in the house. What? Is this... Is she behind a pillar? Okay, look, there is a little visibility problem. Yes, but look where she's seated so close to the exit. I mean, that's just perfect so that when Ryan finally comes to his senses and realizes what a mistake he's made, then she won't be embarrassed because she won't have to walk through <gasps> the other table. she would just get the heck out of there. Fix the chart. If you fix things with Reese. Deal. I'm sorry. Me too. I shouldn't have brought up Kendall. I shouldn't have said anything. I just... I keep thinking that somewhere deep down you, um... You blame me for all of this. For all of what? For Zach being our donor. No, that... That was my idea. I was the one that asked him. And he said no to you. And then I talked him into it. And if I just kept no, my no, big no, no, mouth no, 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 shut, no, I'd just be, I love you. I, I don't blame you for anything.